challenge South Africa with Miguel Old Sagawa. Now, there is an opportunity for South Africans to tap into the potential of blockchain technology. Or is there? Neil Ferreira, CEO of uh, Safcoin, joins us in the studio for an explanation on the same. Neil, whenever someone actually hears a crypto, they just think Bitcoin. But uh, this is actually a, a part of uh, something even bigger. That's, of course, blockchain, among other things. Uh, just give us a sense of uh, what Safcoin actually uh, does represent. Well, Arnold, what we did is um, we, we see a lot of African investment leaving the continent and the country, um, especially when you think of the Bitcoin and all the thousands of other cryptocurrencies out there. Mm. So um, it's, it's mainly le um, investment leaving the country and the continent into those, those type of international markets. Uh, we created Safcoin to be an exclusive South African cryptocurrency and to give South Africans an opportunity in the um, startup phases because South Africans feel that they've lost out on um, startup opportunities in the past, uh, even if you talk about Bitcoin. 38% um, of South Africans believe that um, they wish they invested in, in cryptocurrencies and 40 odd percent said they are still going to invest. Yeah. And that brings me back to the money leaving the country into um, international ICOs and startups. Um, when you look at um, when, when we want to um, have the Safcoin a local cryptocurrency, we want people to have an opportunity in a startup which they feel they left out. We want to educate people into what cryptocurrency is about. Right. Uh, there is a, a notion here that uh, just about 0.000% of an entire, the entire population, this is global, actually knows about cryptocurrency, uh, let alone even use it, because that's even cut in half, that 0.0001%. Uh, how do you plan to tackle this, away from having the South African brand, that this is our own? How do you plan to tackle this going forward? Well, look, we are looking at um, having national remote stations where people can approach us. And um, in, with that, we're also creating job opportunities. We want people uh, not to be scared and driven away from this because, look, it is the future. The world has never worked like this before, and it is a scary place, um, especially if it comes to money and investment. People are scared, and they are skeptical. But we want to change this. We want to help people because it's, it's um, you look, Bitcoin is the future. We, we, we must keep our eye on the ball when it comes to this. And we just want people to educate them. If they need a, a call center that they can call, that's what Safcoin is about. Um, pick up a phone and call Safcoin. You, you cannot phone the international cryptocurrencies where we stand now. And I think that's the, that's the main part of people are scared. They're staying away. But still, you look at the 38% that said they wish they did. And 40% uh, 40, 40 that said they are going to. So that's 80% of the South African market we're looking at um, that we can help and assist in this. Neil, let's talk about arguably the biggest, the elephant in the room, uh, is the volatility that uh, we have seen with uh, many of the cryptos. Uh, just December, November last year, uh, Bitcoin was offering just over 13,000 US dollars. Fast forward to today, I'm looking at uh, what, 6,470 6, yes, uh, US dollars. How do you plan to tackle this particular elephant here? Look, um, cryptocurrencies will be volatile. I mean, um, media um, news has a lot, lot to do with this. Um, volume and demand. Um, that's why we are looking at the being exclusive in um, Africa. We are launching an exchange that will be an exclusive cryptocurrency exchange for the Africans. And we only are um, making available 5 million cryptocurrencies of SAF coins available. So that will bring your value up. And um, once you push in your volume and your demand, um, the value goes up. And that brings me back to the opportunity that we want to give the South Africans in the startup opportunity, that, um, where they can actually join the cryptocurrency, they can buy a token. When we launch in October, that token will be migrated into a crypto. So you will have a full cryptocurrency when we launch on exchange. And that will start to trade. Neil, how do I get a piece of the big cake here? Well, you can log on to our website, safcoin.co.za. Uh, you can register a free account. Um, you, uh, there's, uh, people also don't know about Ethereum wallets. We create that automatically when you, when you register. So is there interaction between, let's say, uh, Ether, uh, Bitcoin, and Safcoin? No, not at all. Um, what we did is we, um, 
we only accept um, current South African currency. Mm. We eliminated the international investor right. because we want to give South Africans opportunity. If we, we um, accepted Bitcoin and Ethereum, the international guys can come up and scoop up the opportunity <laughs> that we actually want to bring out to the South Africans. So you can buy your token online. Um, we've, helped, we've even helped educate people in terms of online banking and even help people create emails in South Africa, uh, believe it or not. And, but, but you can buy your tokens online on our website. Fascinating insights indeed. Uh, Neil, <laughs> I will be getting back to you on that particular one. I definitely want to get a piece of Thank that you, particular Arnold. cake. That was uh, Neil Ferreira, CEO of uh, SAFCoin.